Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel. I wanted to film this video because I did my hair and my makeup today and I didn't really do much today. I just went out with uh, my boyfriend. Now I'm honestly really tired, but I just want to film this video really quick because it is something that has been on my mind for a couple days now and if I don't film it, I'll never... I'll never film it and then I'll never edit it and then the story will never be told. I joined a club called the Illini Union Board at my university and it is an amazing club and the way that I found out about the club was at a like fair for organizations. So I went to this like little fair and a bunch of organizations had their booths set up and I got a bunch of contact information and I was just walking around seeing what I liked. It was around the time where I wasn't a part of anything and I really wanted to get involved with the school. So I joined this club, the Illini Union Board. What caught my eye from them is that they had a poster saying that Tyler Oakley had recently uh, visited the school and he came and he spoke and he, um, you know, met some people and, you know, whatnot. So he was at the school and of course being a youtuber i was super intrigued by that i was super intrigued by anybody who was famous coming but especially a youtuber that was like a big big thing for me and so they told me when i was just talking to the person who was there they were like yeah when a guest comes the people who are a part of the club actually get to meet the guest and you know go behind the scenes with them and hang out with them for a little bit before they actually do their speech or um, you know, whatever they're there to do. I joined the club. I joined several different aspects of the club and without getting too much into who I liked and who I didn't like because that is not the point of the story at all. Long story short, I would go to the meetings and I f would feel like my voice wasn't really heard. I would vote on people to come to the university and the person that I wanted to come to the university was the first one that was like outvoted. Eventually I told the club I was like hey like I didn't even address like how I was feeling I was just like hey I have other stuff going on and I don't want to take time out of my day to attend these meetings where I don't feel like my voice is being heard. Basically from there on out I wasn't really part of the club anymore. You know it was a missed opportunity and I did um I did I was very sad because I really wanted a sense of community out of this club. I wasn't gaining any friends from, from the club. I would just go to the meetings on Monday nights or whatever they were and then I would go home. And I I wasn't getting a sense of community and it sucked. It really sucked. That's what I, The main thing that I wanted out of this club was not to meet any famous person that was going to come. The main goal was to make friends. And so I was like, if I'm not gonna make friends from here, I'm, I need to go elsewhere because this isn't bringing me what I need. And so I need to put my time and energy into something else. The following semester, the club that I was a part of, but was no longer a part of, brought Damon John from Shark Tank to my school. And I will insert some pictures of him here. I don't have any clips of him because he wouldn't allow any sort of videotaping or anything during his speech and I was sitting pretty close. I was like maybe the third or fourth row back but I got the aisle seat so I could see him perfectly and it was amazing. I got there early and I really secured my seat. It was so good and I was so happy but the one thing that I thought was man I wish I was still a part of the club. I wish I was part of the reason that he was able to come to the university. I wish that I got to meet him. I watch Shark Tank to this day and I absolutely love seeing him on the TV and um, I just, I, th I really like, I look up to him. I love Shark Tank, so that's how I know him. And yeah, it was just really cool for him to be at my school. Fast forward and my school announces that they are bringing David Dobrik to my school. And this one hurt. This one hurt a lot. I... I was really, really upset that I wasn't part of the club when I heard that David Dobrik was coming. Mainly because I I didn't know for sure, but I was pretty sure that he was going to bring people, and he did. He ended up bringing his assistant Natalie, he ended up bringing Jason Nash, and Casey Neistat, and Jonah, the guy that they call Jonah from the vlogs. So, um... So yeah, that stung. That stung really bad. I was really sad that I wasn't a part of the club and I 
was really sad that I didn't even go to his speech. And the reason that I didn't go to his speech is one, because Tom was in town and I chose my time to sit next to Tom over my time to listen to David Dobrik's speech. I took a test right before his speech and I was I was pretty drained from that test. I did get out with enough time to meet him or not meet him but like go to his speech and basically the minute that I got back to my apartment I was feeling a little regret and this was before he even started his speech and then the day after I saw snapchats and Instagram stories and all the social media about him his appearance and who else was there and that's when I realized who he brought at first it was just advertised that he was going to be here but it was not advertised about who any of his guests were and I love Casey Neistat too and yeah so basically I woke up the next morning and I was really upset. When I realized that I missed out on this once in a lifetime opportunity, I was devastated. And I looked at those Snapchats and I just cried and I just felt regret and I just wished that I was there and wish that I met him, wish that I met all of his guests. And I wish that I didn't let the stress that I was feeling of school or the sadness I was feeling from my boyfriend being in town and, you know, I get limited time with my boyfriend. I, I really, really only see him on the weekends and it was his one time that he takes out of his life to come visit me for Monday through Friday while I'm at school. He comes to my school and he hangs out with me and stays with me. And I thought that I was doing the right thing by choosing him over going to this famous speaker. Now, Tom did tell me that he was like, he was encouraging me, encouraging me to go. He knew that I really wanted to go and I did. I really, really wanted to go. And for weeks leading up, to, from from the day I realized that he was coming to the school, I planned on going. I planned on skipping my night class. I planned on... I, e I emailed the TA for that class and I was like, hey, I'm planning on going to this speech. How can I go to this speech? I was just like planning to go. I was planning to go the entire time, since since the day that I heard that he was coming. And yeah, it just, it stings. It stings. And so, I guess my biggest regret, and I'll put the tweet that I sent out right here, but I said something along the lines of, my university brings so many amazing opportunities. It brings not only amazing opportunities for jobs, but for the great education, for the great experiences. And... The way that I chose to do school makes it hard for me to participate in these once in a lifetime things. And so basically I went to Damon John alone and I stood in line alone and I did my thing and I watched him and that was really amazing and I'm so happy I went to that. But I would have went to David Dobrik alone and would have sat there alone, waited in line alone. And although it would have been really, really cool, it's just something that I also didn't want to experience alone. When something that you're so excited about happens, all you want to do is share that excitement with somebody else. So, I don't really know where this video is going, but I just wanted to say that you shouldn't miss out on once in a lifetime opportunities never ever ever do that my boyfriend is still around he would have been around after the speech and he wouldn't have cared if i went to the speech he was super supportive of me going and 
several factors just like on on the day that I could have just I was on the quad at night two hours before his speech and two hours before his speech right after my test I decided to just go back to my apartment and I regret that and so maybe one day David Dobrik and I will cross paths again but I still think that's really cool that he was at my school. I think it's really cool that my school was able to bring him here. I'm super sad that I was not a part of the club that brought him here uh, because, because I really, really wanted to bring cool people to my school. There are so many cool people who have been to my school because of that club. And unfortunately, I was it was just the wrong place and the wrong time and the wrong people in that organization when I was first in that organization and now it's too late now I have eight weeks left of school literally like today is October 19th and I have eight weeks left of my bachelor's degree and then I'll earn it and then I'll move on from there but all I'm saying is it was super dope to have them at my school even though I did not see them and I'm very very sad that I missed out on seeing them. I'm gonna go now. I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you for dealing with this crazy lighting and my crazy makeup. I've been wearing it since like 2 o'clock now so I can't wait to take it off and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!